Do you struggle with fighting in Fortnite Chapter 5? This video will provide you tips from early to late game on how to improve your fighting in these categories. Early game, mid game and late game. Alright, jumping in, we're going to talk about early game and how you can improve your fighting there. Offspawn fights are often the hardest fights in a game, as they're the most luck based, and to master offspawn fights you need good positioning, good mats, and good loot to tilt the scales in your favour. For a good example, having a shotgun when another person doesn't will almost guarantee you to win that fight. So play to whatever little advantage you have, whether that's mats, positioning, or loot. This next tip has come up in my videos before, but having a set loot route when you land at a location, for example, snooty steps would be landing at the train station and going in the tunnel. Just somewhere where you'd land and then follow a path to get decent loot is a really good thing to have because then it will help you get these three advantages I mentioned before. In a fight, your positioning means a lot and people don't often realize this. Good positioning allows you to make right hand peaks, spray from above, and all of which give you a really big advantage and this can help you get a win as well. Out of all the points I've made for early game, you should see a key feature which is play to your off spawn advantage. This is probably the smartest way to win a fight. Okay, jumping into mid game. During mid game fights, the biggest advantage is being first to get a high damage shot on another player, whether that's with a snipe, a good shotgun shot, or a spray with an AR. This can give you health advantage, which in mid game fights, this is the thing you want to push for offensively. So if someone has a lot less health than you, you want to push and pressure offensively. Playing at a defensive angle though, you'd want to use the positioning you learned from early game and you'd want to make multiple boxes to run back into and try play out your mats. Building multiple boxes in mid game prevents your opponent, prevents your opponent from pre-peace controlling you which is something you should always be looking for offensively because if you can pre-peace control someone it means they can't get away you can get a really good damage shot on them and they panic all three things that will help you in a fight all right jumping into late game now you should learn to use cover to your advantage and build behind you always always build behind you i cannot stress this enough in a big zone in a tournament like like the cash cups or the um, victory cups any of those tournaments you always want to build behind you just because in the end game there's so many people that will look for picks like that to get mats i'll try to pick you off to get a refresh and maybe some meds because they'd need that to get the heal off in victory cups even in late ranked games like elite to unreal most of them end in a rotating zone so you always always need to build behind you to make sure they spray your enemy and not you because if you make yourself hard as a hit they're just not going to bother you should consciously be rotating dead side and looking for fights there rather than at the back of zone as zone can catch up with you and if you get hit for too much zone could be the thing that kills you. All of these things prevent you from being lobby focused, third partied or being peace controlled in endgame and honestly this is the reason most people go down a lot in endgame. So if you learn to avoid these things then it will give you a much better chance at winning proper games. If you're low on materials but have enough ammo to try get a refresh, take that to your advantage. That means spray anyone that isn't boxed up like I mentioned before. This doesn't mean jumping in someone else's box. You want to play safe and play smart. You don't want to jump in and take a 50-50 if you're at a disadvantage. Or even in general, you only would take a 50-50 if they are on 50 health or 75 health and less. If they're on 75 health or less. Because that means that's easy if you hit one shotgun shot, they're going to die. That wraps this video up. Like and subscribe to push this out to others and I'll see you again soon.